Oh, there he go. My brother, what you needed to throw Track your voice on Track I had to update my phone, man. My Instagram be glitching out on me, man. That was everything. So you one of the biggest Knicks fans. How do you think this played out? Man, let me tell you, Crack, I, I'm disappointed. I think this Knicks fans just disappointed, but Utah wanted a lot, man. They wanted a lot to get Spider in there. Leon Rose, World Wide West. Cleveland gave him a lot. But but the Cleveland difference gave him a lot. And it and, and, and it yeah. seemed very deliberate the minute they gave RJ that, that thing yeah. that was it, we out. They were talking back and forth with the Knicks the yeah. whole entire summer. I happen to know it's over. Donovan Mitchell been here all summer. Yeah. All summer. Um, this is a debacle. Okay. Now the only thing I want to say, because I have a relationship mm. with R.J. Barrett. I do love our young Louis. Yeah. We can go into that, right? But we don't have a, bo a, a bona fide lights out superstar. Yeah. If we're going to talk real or we want to dance or we want to be politics, we had our chance to get a 25-year-old yeah. bona fide lights out superstar yeah. in the garden. Why does it feel like we can't get... The problem is this, Joe. Cleveland could afford to make that move because they already had that. They have Garland, who's an all-star. Evan Mobley, who's on his way. Both those guys were picked with the fourth pick in the draft. They had Jared Allen, who they got in the James Harden blockbuster trade. So they had a core already established where they could afford to pay in the unprotected first-round picks and still have that core. So now... They about to shoot up to the top of the East. The Knicks weren't willing to pair to part with so many draft picks. Why? Because it, it would have it would have hurt them in Why? terms of just as you said, Joe, we don't have enough here already. You could bring Donovan here, which would have been great. But if you if you were gonna give up picks in 2023. I said you go, you go, you go, uh Brunson. Randall and, and and Donovan Mitchell, you're definitely in the second round. Yeah, but it's not player. enough, Joe. See, they, they needed to keep those future picks to go get somebody else. Do so you think what we have it's not enough. enough? Do you think what we not have even close. Not enough? Not even close. It's frustrating, Joe. I'm with it. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. But they wouldn't have had enough to build and get somebody else. Like, like I told you, Cleveland could do that because they already – who else? Yeah. Who else? Listen, brother. Who else Look. you want to get? You got a top 10 player, yeah. 25 years old, willing to come home and play. Who, Who's going to come in the future that we think is going to be like Donovan Mitchell? And if we say in the truth, if we say in the truth, it seems almost impossible to make a superstar come play for the Knicks. Don't know why. Can you elaborate? Yeah. Can you tell me why? We finally had a superstar willing to come. And what's the, what, what we got? Eight? We, we got, got 11, draft picks? 11 why? first what round picks in the next seven years. Seven, seven brother. So we could have gave three away. <laughs> and had Donovan Mitchell, Brunson and Ray. And what are we going to do? Are we going to be here two years from now? Hoping that Zion runs out of his contract or somebody. Yeah. I mean, this was low in fruit. West, West lives across the street. <laughs> I was in West's house yesterday. No, you see Donovan Mitchell just called yeah, me right yeah. now on the live. I don't For know sure, I saw it. it. I really know what's I going it. on, right? And so my problem is, right, the argument I was having with a lot of Brothers in the street, in the fucking barbershop. Yo, but we don't want to lose RJ and this and this and that. Is RJ going to be yeah. a super, no. super? I think RJ could be a borderline all-star. I think he could be. They were ready to trade him for Donovan Mitchell. They were ready to trade him in that deal. It wasn't. A, it was about that. the picks. You just mentioned Zion, right, Joe? If they would have traded all those picks to get Donovan Mitchell, they wouldn't have had enough to maybe go get a Zion in the future. 
because they want it was three unprotected first round picks. See, they don't have enough right now in the stable, Joe, to to take that risk. That's why they didn't pull it. They should have took the risk, brother. And it's the same old DNA of the Knicks. Yeah, and I'm a Knicks fan, and I love the. But I want to know why, as a fan, let me explain to you. One, my mentor, I, I saw that. Rest yesterday. in peace. Right. Thank you very much. And so life mm -hmm. is just so fragile, right? Why us as Nick fans, we have to go on <laughs> suffering. Time. No, it's, I wish I was born in Golden State. They're having a great time. Everybody you see in that stadium is smiling, having a great time. Why do we got to suffer? Yeah. Right? And so, uh, this shit is sad, and I really thought Donovan Mitchell was coming, and I think that was a bit of overconfidence by the Knicks pulling the trigger, okay, and that was it. And Danny Ainge is the greatest negotiator no question. in basketball. See what he did to um, Boston. See what he's doing in Utah. Yeah. What he got from Rudy Gobert. He's the greatest negotiator in basketball. Yeah. Bottom line. And so uh, this is what we got to do again. This, 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 this is what, what we got to do. Happen. They got to peel it back, Joe. They're going to have to peel it back. Right now, they in no man's land. They got to trade Randall, trade Forney, and just let the kids rock. Let the chips fall where they may. Look at what OKC's doing right now. Look at what Orlando's doing right now. You got to be able to get some premium, premium lottery talent and build your team that way. Right now, the Knicks, they trying to win. They trying to build. Brother, you know what I know? Yeah. You know what I agree with? Instant gratification. I don't I don't want to wait to get a, a lottery yeah. pick to see if he's good. I want Donovan Mitchell, a three-time all-star, 25 years old, who is going to go fucking nuts in the garden. We have yet. Yeah. Okay? You're talking to a coach at the Rutgers. Absolutely. No basketball, bro. We have yet. To have somebody like a Rod Strickland, like a, a, a Mark Jackson, yeah. to light up Madison Square Garden. We finally had a guy that even yeah. if we lost, yeah. we would have had a great time. Because the man would have been like, We had Mellow. And they let them. We had Mellow, but you saw how the Mellow trade hurt us, though. That was Mellow, and that was a different time. See, Mellow's a black hole. Yeah. He's my brother. But Melo, just like Randall, and I love Randall. I mean, everybody might be mad at me after this this show right here with you, but you wanted to get on. I said, fuck it, let's do it. Randall, if the ball is being moved, right, and they're doing great, he's holding a black hole. He wants to sit there and hold the ball, do the little drop step, <laughs> and shoot the shit. Bro, that's yeah. not how it's going. It, that's the yeah. shit Mello was doing. Same shit, black hole. Whenever anybody was moving around, yo, hold up, let me get that. Yeah. Let me get my let me get my buckets. And so, um, I don't care. Yeah. I would have took the risk. Me, I don't think it's a risk. I think you got Brunson. Brunson already showed. Okay, fuck the season. You got a guy like A. Rod who hit seventy six thousand home runs mm -hmm. in the season, and every all star in chip he struck out. That's not yeah. what this is about. Brunson already proved he'll show out in some fucking playoffs. So you got Donovan Mitchell, you got Brunson, you got Randall. I think we got a, a core team. I really love Jericho Sims. Yeah. I love the young boys. Those are the quick rounds. I love them. I guess now I better really, really. You got no love choice them. now. But I better really think they're the best, huh? Oh, you got it open? <laughs> oh, damn. Um, and so. Appreciate I you, Joe. Coming on here. You know what I'm and uh, I don't yeah. feel good today. It's a tough day, man. It's a tough day. I'm frustrated, but they got gunshot, man. They, they they didn't want to take that risk. 
Yo, what? We ain't going right, to but it's it's like you said, years. Joe. You what's wanted what's instant what? gratification, but is that good for longevity, Joe? To build a real contender? I'm not talking about second round. What is longevity? about longevity of Nick fans is we're never going nowhere. Stop. That's our longevity. Yeah. What are you talking about longevity? Yo, Get it, that it's it's it. Get, it's not about first that. round. We want to get to the to the promised land, but you need the assets to get there, Joe. We don't have enough right now. That's why Cleveland took the risk. They have it right now. They got an all star. Cleveland has an all star. They got a big man that's going to be a generational talent, and they didn't have to part with either one of them to get Donovan Mitchell. They got the twin towers, Garland. Now they got Mitchell. Knicks don't have that. We got one player promise in RJ. IQ's cool, open school. Those are role players, man. You gotta be able, you gotta you gotta you gotta see the vision for the whole the whole process, Joe. That's that's the challenge in in, in putting this deal together. Well, I hope he's right. He says wait for the process. Me personally, <laughs> fuck the process. I wanna win now. Peace, Thank peace, you, my Joe. Brother. Peace.